Aloha! Today we are going to talk how to get this Kubotan as fast as possible out of your pocket so you can use it immediately in a self-defense situation. I'm Robert Lissatz and all my videos are about being safe, fit and prepared. And let's start with the basics. So let's say you have a Kubotan and it's attached to some, to some of your keys. It's important that you put the Kubotan with your keys in a proper manner in your pocket. This is why I suggest that you put first your keys into your pocket and then the Kubotan part. Because when you're reaching into your pocket, you get your Kubotan immediately in your hand. You can just turn it around and start using it. So don't put it like this into your pocket. As I said, because you will get your keys first and then you have readjust your grip to use your Kubotan. It takes too much time in a self-defense situation. Put your keys first into your pocket. When you reach into your pocket, you will have immediately a good grip and you can start using the Kubotan. I know that you like to see the fancy stuff first, but the basics are first and then comes the fancy stuff. So what I want you to do is to get used to it, how to get your Kubotan out of your pocket. So let's say that you're walking down the street, you can just practice all the time how to get your Kubotan as fast as possible out of your pocket while you're walking. The first drill is just that you put your Kubotan as fast out of your pocket as possible. The main purpose of the following solo Kubotan drills is to teach you how to get your Kubotan out of your pocket in various situations and positions. At the second drill it's important that you take your Kubotan out of your pocket and that you put your hand in front of you so you can push your opponent away or you can grab him to pull him towards yourself and hit him with the Kubotan. Of course, on the street you won't have to do judo rolls, but uh, the purpose of this exercise is that you see that uh, when you add some complex movements, the things, even the easy things, are getting complicated. So again, the main purpose of this exercise is not the judo roll, and in street fight situations you don't want to roll around if it's not necessary. It's just to add one complex movement and add the other part and this is to get your Kubotan out of the pocket as fast as possible. And you will see when you combine these two things, it's getting much more difficult. This exercise is helpful so you can see that if there is a complexity going on and fighting is a complex thing, it's quite difficult to get your Kubotan out of the pocket immediately. If you have done all the previous drills, you have probably experienced that your pullover can be a serious obstacle to get to your Kubotan. And it's the same with your jacket, because first of all, you have often to remove your jacket to get with your hand into your pocket. And it's the same with your pullover. So in this case, when I'm sitting, for instance, in the car, I have to move my pullover upwards so I can get my hand into my pocket, grab my Kubotan and use it if necessary. And the fourth drill is try to get to your Kubotan with your hand as fast as possible while you're sitting. For instance, as I just demonstrated in your car. So go here, grab it and you can already use it. Probably you want to ask me like, oh Robert, why should I learn how to take my Kubotan out of my pocket while I'm sitting? Because as domesticated and civilized people, we are sitting a lot, 8, 10, 12 hours in our cars, in our offices, uh, then at school and even in the restaurant, at home. So we are sitting all the time. So there is a big probability that something worse is also going to happen while we are sitting. And if you want to get your Kubotan out of your pocket while you're sitting, you have to do quite a lot of different things. 
as we said you have to remove your jacket or your pullover and then you have to thrust your hips forward so you can get easier into your pocket with your hand and grab the kubota after you have done all these drills you will come to the conclusion that it's quite difficult to get the kubotan out of your pocket in stressful situations therefore it's better to get your kubotan out of your pocket before all the things are starting so if you have a gut feeling that there will be a fight take your kubotan out of your pocket immediately and then you are already ready to fight if it's necessary this is part five of my kubotan videos so check out also part one two three and four uh, where i covered how to make a kubotan as well uh, as some drills and other interesting stuff you should check it out the links of the previous kubotan videos are in the video description so you can check them out there i'm robert lisatz and if you want to be safe fit and prepared subscribe to my youtube channel i would really appreciate it see you in the next video bye